flight boss, bitch, you know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Antares Moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, we're going to talk about verdict, sidereal, and tropical astrology. Now, I don't know if some people say it's verdict, some people say sidereal. It's kind of calculated the same. Uh, uh, each sign, they want to say it's calculated uh, 24 degrees before tropical signs, and they, then they add in all these stories and uh, analogies and stuff. Because the Gregorian calendar and this, that, and there. Look, it's truth in everything. There's a reason why the calendar is the way it's the calendar. Like, even if it's even if it's absorbed in lies and stuff like that, it's it's a it's still truth in lies. There there can never be a lie in the truth, but they're all kind of true. There's all kind of truth in lies. You see what I'm saying? So when you want to look at look at ver, look at verdict astrology or sidereal or whatever, and look at tropical. Now, listen. This is the if. If you are a person who's reaching out to get a verdict or a sidereal reading and you found an astrologer and you actually paid for a verdict or a sidereal reading, you wasted your fucking money. And you probably put yourself into more confusion or you put yourself into more curiosity to the point that you still have to find other ways to get readings to find yourself. Because look, sidereal and verdict, the way astrologers take it they utilize it just like scientists now. So, uh, energy goes wherever you focus your attention to. That's just why. That's just like everything is a wave until you focus your attention on the wave. Now you can see the little particles in the wave. It turned into a particle. You see what I'm saying? So it's really just your mind. That's the basic mechanism of your mind creating what you want to see. So we're all using our power just in different ways and using different stories. Now, verdict and sidereal astrologers took the actual energy of it and they're they're becoming scientists now. So it's they're they're adding on. They keep adding things onto it to make themselves feel justified and feel right. But here's the actual here's the actual essence of tropical and why tropical got aligned and calendarized and timely and and, and position and positioned in time the way it's positioned. And here's sidereal invert verdict. Now tropical is where the stars appear to be from where you're at on Earth. So where the stars appear to be from an Earth perspective, getting a telescope, living on Earth, looking at the planet, stuff like that, that's that's tropical. Verdict sidereal is where the stars really are at the moment, right? But for an example, if you if you on Earth, you can only see where the sun appears to be. So if the light is only hitting you from where it appears to be, that's how you're catching the light. The same way if you was in another room from a person that's in a room full of light. Say you stuck your arm in that room. You're only catching an arm lift of that light. So from your perspective, your location, that's how you receive the light. But the, pers the person who's in that room can see everything in that room because they're in that light. So same way with Verdict and Sidereo. They, they are where the stars and, the con and all the constellations appear to really be at. So, for an example, if you didn't live on Earth and you lived up there beside these planets, then, okay, yeah, you're probably able to see where the stars really at. And if you was born up there and you live up there next to these planets and stars to be able to see where they really at, then wherever they're really at, that's how you're receiving the light. So you're receiving the light from where they're really at. But if you're living on Earth, Tropical is your sign. So you wasted your money getting an astrology reading based upon your verdict and sidereal. Because you can't you can't describe someone's feelings or their characteristics or anything based upon their their verdict uh, uh, chart. Because the person you're explaining live on Earth. So they're receiving the lights from an Earth perspective. So here's here's an example. Here's an example, right? See, verdict and sidereal is more from a generational civilization. When civilizations come onto this planet, it's, it's more that energy aspect. Because when you come here, you are coming from out there. So you come in absorbed in that energy, but when you come here, you come through the filters. And then that light energies get filtered through the light energies of how we receive the light from Earth. So if you live on Earth, you are your Western astrology. You see what I'm saying? These are the characteristics you're playing out. Now, here's here's why it's appear that way, right? Now look, if say for an example, say you are, say you are, um, say you are a uh, Aries, a uh, Aries here, like okay, like me. Say you are an Aries, a uh, Aries sun sign in tropical, right? 
boom, you are Aries, sun sign and tropical. But say you are a Pisces, like say you are a Pisces like me. Like inverted and sidereal, I'm a Pisces sun, Scorpio moon, Cancer ascendant. And 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 tropical, I'm Aries sun, Sagittarius moon, Leo ascendant. Now listen, y'all listen to Arch Andrew Uriel right now. I know how to decipher between energies. So you can't put no wool or gaff over my eyes for the for the sake of your pockets or you want to get paid or this, that, and the third. Listen, I'm telling you the exact energy. Cause I I deciphered this shit for myself. You you think you think I didn't want no Pisces characters characteristics traits in my in my chart or in my life at one point in time? You think I didn't want to be a Scorpio moon in my life at one point in time? And, but, and a lot of times that's how I be. Like a lot of these verdict and tropical astrologers, they be Sagittarius's who just really want to be Scorpios. So they build up all these mechanisms and fears of realities in their head of why they feel more comfortable with being a Scorpio than a Sagittarius. And a lot of people who are in inverted astrology do the same thing. They just don't want to be the sign that they're in and they don't know they don't know how to decipher why this the energy that they're in. And a lot of times they just cling on to other shit. But, uh, but it's a small saying that you're going to accommodate yourself with something that's out of you, outside of you faster than yourself. And you're quicker to hate yourself faster than something outside of you. That's like people who help people fast, help people that's not close to them or close to their family faster than the people that's close to their family. So it plays out in the mechanism, even, even astrology. You, it's hard to see your own shit. It's hard to look at your own natal, but it's easy to decipher somebody else's shit. Or to like somebody else's shit. You see what I'm saying? So you do that to the smallest mechanism. To the point that someone could be describing you. And that'd be the same reason why you're saying that's not you. But let's go to that's another video. Look, but when we talk about tropical and, 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 and verdict. Say you are, are uh, tropical Aries, right? Then you play out the characteristics and traits of Aries, right? But the civilization of your generation of Aries. The way y'all came in. Y'all may be more mystic Aries. Y'all may be more uh, uh, imagina imaginative and creative Aries. Y'all may be more dream world Aries. Y'all may be more fantasy like Aries in this civilization. And you can look at me as a testament. That's how I... See, these are not to be like, should I use verdict or should I use tropical? No, they're two entirely separate systems. You see what I'm saying? Now, I'm an Aries tropical and I'm a Pisces sidereal. So I'm going to explain to you how this works. Now, I'm an Aries because... I'm an Aries nature, cardinal fire, initiating and creating new ways of how to see and how to feel about all things that's in front of me. Boom. That's what I'm here doing because that's the way I'm receiving the light from an earth perspective. But when this calendar and, and tropical and all that, the, the way it relates to sidereal calendar wasn't always the same. It always changed. But since we're in this civilization, in this generation, this civilization came in the way it's constructed now. And the way where the stars is actually, where they actually are, as far as a broad generational path, those stars are in the Pisces mechanism, right? So, as far as Aries and all the Aries that I see in this realm of reality, as far as this civilization of beings that came into Earth, as far as the, the experience of time we're seeing now, Aries who's coming in now are more, are more mysticism, spiritual, um, dreamlike, fantasy-like, uh, having an imagination, um, having a broad imagination and creative Aries. You see what I'm saying? That's how it works. If you are a Gemini, tropical, right? You are a Gemini. But the, but the generation civilization of all Geminis that came in this time, right, are Geminis that's more sturdy, more stable, more practical, more relative, uh, uh, more practical, more more based upon stability. If you are if you are a, a motherfucking Cancer in, in these times, then you came in here as a Cancer. You still a Cancer, but the the civilization of Cancers you came in through are more communicative, more light, more an, more analytical, analyze more. They like to communicate about their feelings more. This is why a lot of Cancers in this civilization turn out to be comedians, or turns out to be people who know how to utilize their words more. I mean, utilize their words more in order to, co to accommodate your emotions and your feelings. You see what I'm saying? Do you understand what the fuck I'm saying? So if you're a person who just went out and flat out got a pay for a natal reading based upon your verdict and tropical chart, then goddamn you wasted your motherfucking money. And if you are a person who's genuine believing in that, you you you're confused amongst the right and left brain, and you and you're it's it's a part of self hatred. 
and Sidereo and Verdict is teaching a part of self-hatred based upon the way these astrologers is presenting it. But the energy itself isn't self-hatred. You see what I'm saying? You got you got all the little things and the shock thrust and all that shit. Yeah, all that is fine and dandy. And all the 12 moons is fine and dandy. If your ass was living up there. You can't even technically see or receive any lights from these nashatras unless the planets is actually going through them. And when they're going through them, it's not just getting filtered through you. It's getting filtered through the whole fucking generation, through the whole civilization that we're in. So when you look at Verdict and Tropical, that's your science for you to take your Western and see how your Western is applying yourself within the civilization and the generation that you're in. So that's a self-science, more personal science, more internal science with Verdict. Tropical, if you want to know your outer expressions and how you internally feel and externally express it, you go to your Western. How to see how I relate to the civilization and, and your placement in this world that we're in right now. Then you go personally. Not no, you don't need no astrologer for this help. You go personally see how your Western alignment civilizes itself into the generation you in. Okay? Archangel Uriel. And I'm here to help. And that's it. Flight boss, bitch.